Hey everyone, I am back with a Dollar Tree haul. <clears throat> and uh, and I just wanna say good morning. It's a Monday morning. It is just now turning eight o'clock. I just got all of my kids off to school. And I am tired because I have, I had to take the first set of kids that are high schoolers to the bus stop at six o'clock this morning. And then the second set at seven o'clock. And then the third set, which is the middle school, they just left. So I wanted to get this Dollar Tree haul done because it's quiet. If you hear a humming noise, it's from my ceiling fan. And um, if you if y'all like my channel, please subscribe. <clears throat> Keep clearing my voice because allergies and stuff is bad here. Uh, my sinuses and everything's been acting up. But anyway, if y'all like my channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to check me out over on TikTok. <coughs> and I have a lot of goodies here. Um, it's not a very big video. I mean, a very big haul. But I just wanted to share what I've got because I do have more stuff. But I'm trying to break everything down. I'm going to start off with, um, actually, I'm going to start off with the little kids makeup arm makeup and stuff. As y'all know, if y'all have been watching my videos, I make Christmas boxes for all my granddaughters and um, and this year I am making two care packages that I'm sending, one to Georgia and one to Virginia. But my niece, I mean, she loves her fake nails. So anyway, I'm gonna start off with some of the stuff that I'm gonna put in her box. And this is one of them. Her Mimi picked this out, so this is going to go in her little Christmas box. It's just a little, um, they call them bath sponges. So she's going to like that. That's going to go in her box. And then I got her these nails. I got her three things of nails. I got her these. And I got her this one. And this one. Those are gonna go in her box. Um, I picked up some lip gloss and I absolutely thought these were so cute. This may is Taste Squad. This one is Blueberry Blast and it's called Over the Moon, but look at it. It's a little alien. This is gonna go in my one of my granddaughter's boxes. I actually picked up two of them because they were so cute. And Taste Squad also has this one, which is a uh, passion fruit punch. And this one is mocha latte. This one is birthday cake. And this one is Candy Bar Crunch. I thought these were so cute. <clears throat> and I also found this as a lip gloss. It's Shine On High Shine Lip Gloss. My daughter absolutely loves, my 15 year old daughter loves uh, lip gloss. So this is gonna go in her box. And I thought this would be cute to send in one of my care packages. It's Make Me Up. Um, let me see what this says. Um, eyeshadow palette. It's just an eyeshadow palette. And it's manufactured for distributed by K7 Design Group. Ombres. No, that's Spanish. It's eyeshadow palette. That will be cute in my care package. And this one is eyeshadow palette by Beauty Intuition. Long lasting and smooth application. 
Uh, this is neutrals, which, dang, I like these colors. I'm, I like neutral colors because I don't even like wearing makeup. Every now and then I get in the mood. Y'all don't mind my nails because there's paint. I've been painting, like I told y'all in my last video, I have been painting my living room and my kitchen and I've got paint down in my nails and they just look terrible. But anyway, life goes on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these are the Moody Neutrals and these are really pretty. I like these colors. I might keep that one. Because I, I, my eyes, I got blue eyes, and I'm older, so it really doesn't, um, bright colors really don't look good on my eyes, I don't think. Um, I also, in my care packages, I got these to put in there. And these are just um, the milk chocolate with caramel filling truffles, truff, truffles, truffles, and there are six in here. And, um, I've also, um, was thinking about getting the smaller ones of these and setting them down into, I bought two coffee cups from a yard sale and I thought they were really cute. And this one says, keep Christ in Christmas. These came from a yard sale and the inside of them has these little polka dots. So what I was going to do is buy the smaller packs of these and fill this cup up with different kinds of candies and put it in like one of those cellophane uh, treat bags and tie it up real pretty. And I also found this one. This one says Merry Christmas on it. And I, I absolutely love this cup. Um, and I was gonna do the same thing with this one. Just get some of those smaller candies and put in here. I just wanted to show y'all my dollar, my yard sale cups. I am going to sanitize them and clean them and stuff. Um, I got these Christmas bags because this would be perfect for like the coffee cup and the candies and maybe a blanket or um, something, you know, something, maybe some body spray or some slippers and Stuff, but I like the snowman um, bag. It's got the glitter right there. And I also like this one that says Merry and Bright. Inside, oh, the side of that bag looks like that one. What does this one look like? But I'm trying to come up with some really cheap ideas for Christmas because things are really tight this year. And so a lot of my stuff is coming from like Five Below, Dollar Tree, um, these bin stores that are around, which I need to share a bin, bin store haul with y'all because I got some really cool stuff. Um, this is a USB laptop light, USB powered flexible design 14 bright LEDs and 60 luminance I bought this from a laptop <clears throat> oh this is nice look at this But does it have like an on and off switch? It does not. So it automatically comes on when you no batteries required. Universal and compatible with most standard USB ports. And this is a Greenbrier product because it does say Greenbrier. Um, but it would have been nice if it had like a on and off or light to dim maybe, but, um, I just seen that and I'll try it out because it would be good. Like when I go on vacation and stuff, if we're in a motel and the kids are sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So I got that. 
I bought some more Christmas uh, villages because I'm not sure if I have this one. If I do, I'll just donate this to one of my kids. And uh, they do light up. I gotta get. I got batteries to put in them. Um, this one. I think I missed out on the good stuff because I was looking for um, a few things that was on my list and they didn't have any. Oh, let me start off with these socks. I got these socks for my. 14-year-old um, son because he's he's different. He's very different and he doesn't ask for anything. Um, he's very quiet and he's uh, mild autistic so he so he's I got him anyway I got him these socks. They're Pez. The Pez socks. I got him those for his stocking. I got him these York Patty um, socks. I got him the Twizzler. He loves Twizzlers. So I got him the Twizzler socks. And I got him the Hershey Kisses. And I know there's more out there. I just didn't see them at my Dollar, my dollar Tree. Um, but anyway, those are all going to go in his stocking. I know he's going to love those. And I also got a bunch of tape, which I know I'm going to have to go get more because I go through more than this. Um, my nose keeps itching. Um, this is just Scott, Scotch uh, tape, and I got three of them. And there's two in here. I got this for my daughter's stocking. It is a spa April um bath and shower it's a fillable bath brush maybe she can fill it up with shampoo and she likes to she takes my brush into the shower every time she takes a shower and she brushes her hair while she's got soap in there and the conditioner and she just scrubs enough so i had to get me another brush and i thought well maybe this will help you know i don't know It just says it's a fillable bath brush. And it's like silicone, like rubber. And you put the soap in there. Or bath gel or something. I don't know. If she doesn't like it, I'll I'll do I'll take it because she has a sensory disorder and she doesn't like anything. She might not like that on her skin. And I got a toothbrush, and this was looked different to me. It's a Guru soft brush toothbrush. I got this ornament. Um, I'm going to have to put some batteries. What size batteries does this take? Um, anyway, it lights up and plays music. It's motion activated ornament. And I thought this was cute because I love Santa Clauses. I collect Santa Clauses and a lot of my Santa Clauses got ruined. So I had to toss them. And I was so upset because I love my Santa Claus. Got some toothpaste, Colgate sparkling white toothpaste. We were out of toothpaste the other day and I found some of this toothpaste that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it was the nastiest tasting toothpaste. I don't, I don't even know what it was, but anyway, it was like, um, kind of like a spearmint taste and it, it was just terrible so I picked up a couple of things of toothpaste here's my batteries these are double-a batteries but I've got to pick up some triple-a batteries because I think that's what my ornament uses and anything that uses batteries for Christmas that I'm going to be sending to uh, the care in the care packages I gotta put batteries in there for their little things and I also found this uh, first aid kit. I thought this was cute. I would like to, I bought a couple of them, but I think the other one is in my other haul. 
and this I like to put in my truck put some first aid ointment um, uh, triple antibiotic ointment in this and just put it in my truck oh this is beach vibes I might put this in my daughter-in-law's box because she likes the beach stuff and I'll keep the other one and we have a great grandbaby coming and it's a boy and um, this is called baby diaper cream applicator. applicator. I can't even talk today. I'm tired. Um, I bought a blue one and a green one. I'm going to keep one for my five-year-old because he's always getting rashes. And I would rather use one of these instead of my hand. And they have a suction thing on the bottom of them or a little stand. I'll probably keep the green one and send the, uh, give the blue one to our granddaughter. I think she's due in April too. Get some of the stuff out of my way so I can start on my, I got some books and one more bag to share with y'all. show you my books first um I got a few look at this I have a few books to show um this is my drunk kitchen holidays how to save savor and celebrate the year with Han uh, Hannah Hart and this book originally went for I think it says $29 no, $28. This book was $28. Let me see if I can find a good... This says Hot Dog Day. Lipstick Day. Uh, middle child's day there are um, quite a few recipes in here kale chips and stuff like that but uh, $28 got it for $1.25 it can go with my Dollar Tree um, uh, collector I got a whole collection of dollar, dollar Tree cookbooks I have got to get me a bigger bookshelf <clears throat> because I do got some cookbooks that was handed down to me from my mom and some other people. Um, anyway, this one is a tasty over the top. And this one was $21. And it's got the little sparkly, um, says over the top and it's real sparkly pumpkin spice latte oh my goodness french toast baked oatmeal triple decker this is a really nice book and I didn't have this one and I love my cookbooks because I do cook out of them. I use a lot of my recipe books. And this one was This one doesn't even have a This doesn't say how much it was. Let me look at the top here I'm not sure how much this one was but this says taste of home everyday slow cooker and one dish there I peeled this off but there's no um, price on there it says slow cooker 
Sunday dinner has never been simpler than with Lisa James apricot pork roast with vegetables. Let's see what beef and ground beef. This is a big book. Big book. Shrimp and chicken sausage with grits. But yeah, taste of home. That's a big book. Um, I found this one is also going to go to my granddaughter. Our, yeah, great. Uh, yeah, great granddaughter. Is she a great granddaughter or granddaughter? No, she's a granddaughter. Um, this one is 100 easy recipes for your slow cooker, pressure cooker, or multi cooker. Multi, the multi cooker baby food cookbook. How to use this book about recipes. Um, chapter one, raising a healthy baby eater. Um, yeah, it's got parade, pour it, parade, beets, bell peppers. It doesn't really have pictures, but it does have um, things like this. Thick fish fillets, Greek style yogurt, zucchini and summer squash, pancakes fresh from the freezer. And maybe she would want to make her own baby food because baby food nowadays is no is really not good. Um, I also got this one, saute sizzle, because I did not have this little, little one, but I think I have the rest of them. Cauliflower and chickpea salad. Um, coffee and bourbon brisket. There was something in here. Uh, meatloaf with bacon. shepherd's pie and these little books are really easy recipes and I also found the ritual well wellness melatonin the natural supplement for better sleep and I tell y'all what the reason why I got this is because I have a hard time sleeping and there's recipes in here um, like lavender steamer there is Um, rainbow fruit salad, sleepy peanut butter and jelly, pistachio butter and grape cherry jam toast. Oh, that was a long one. I mean, wouldn't hurt to try some of the teas that they have in here. Uh, sleep hygiene. Six things to know before taking melatonin supplement, uh, supplements. And I really hate taking melatonin. And also, I picked up four of these books. I think it was four of these books. Four. Is this? Yeah, the four. I picked up four of these books to put in the kids' um, Christmas boxes. Because not just having like hygiene or makeup and nails things that make you feel pretty or stuff like that but this is a gratitude journal which the kids you know maybe want to sit down and relax and just fill out this gratitude um you know a gratitude journal and it says dear child on this side and then it says you and me something kind we could say to ourselves on a difficult day you write and I write. What are your thoughts on what I've written about the person I admire? Which traits do I share with them? You know, stuff like that. Maybe they have a best friend they want to share this with or a sister or a mom. Okay. These are for Christmas. I thought these were really cute and they are Barbie. But... I remember as a little girl, I used to play 
paper dolls and I love them. And so I found these, this one's Barbie. These are gonna go in my care packages. Um, mix and match fashions. Fashion designer activity set and dress up over and over again and there's a lot of little outfits in here a lot and this one's barbie i picked up four of the barbie because all of my granddaughters love barbie and i am also making a barbie bag filled with all kinds of Barbie stuff and a lot of stuff I got from the Dollar Tree and uh but yeah I picked up four of these and then I found this one this is Rainbow High fashion designer create your own fashion looks so these are Christmas gifts These are stocking stuffers. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll send these to uh, one of the little girls over in Georgia. Maybe I'll send her one and use one for a stocking stuffer. But um, these are cute. They're just little horses with a little, um, there's a, a pail and a little brush. cute to send there and then I picked up my son some more Legos this one is the fried chicken restaurant and he did not have this one and I saved the best for last and I have hauled these dolls before but I gave them away I gave them to someone for a birthday gift <clears throat> look at these dolls And this ain't even, this ain't even, y'all just gotta wait. Y'all have got to watch this. Now look. They have clothes to, for these dolls. Clothes. Look. Friends, what does it say? Friends forever? friends forever. Look at this. They have clothes for these dolls. Would, and I've already know these are good quality dolls and um i done opened them up well open the other well i opened up one of the other ones because the little girl i gave it to lives here and let me tell you these are good quality dolls that they, they're just like i couldn't even tell you look at this Really? They are making clothes? They have clothes for these dolls? Ages three plus. And I just wanted to share all of this stuff with y'all. And I uh, hope everybody has a good day. I am gonna go grab me some breakfast or make me some breakfast. And um, I gotta put all this stuff away and I gotta start wrapping. I haven't even got my tree up because I'm still waiting for my floor to get done. It's been busy, but they got some construction going on. So let me get off here and um, maybe I'll do another haul here shortly. Everybody have a great day and don't forget to check me out over at TikTok. And if you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment and let me know what kind of hauls that y'all would like me to do. And I will see you later. Love you guys, bye. Hey, I forgot at the end of my Dollar Tree video to give out 
to give a shout out to my son Jordan's teacher, Mrs. C. Um, Mrs. C, I have a Christmas goodie coming for you on Friday. I hope Jordan gives it to you. And I hope you have an awesome holiday. And um, just thank you for taking care of my boy. Um, thank you.